Hi there, my name is Kendall and I'm from the VIU's Geography Field Studies course. Today I'll be showing you the structure and the basic functions of the True Pulse 200 rangefinder. I do not have access to the actual physical instrument, but I do have a makeshift prop that will work just fine. Um, but for reference, I'll place a photo here of the actual instrument so that you know what it looks like. Here's an overview of the use of the laser rangefinder. With its laser technology, it is able to take quick measurements of distances and hikes to determine vertical distance, slope, and inclination. The instrument is used um, for certain applications, such as telecommunication with measuring um, different spans and clearances, as well as antenna height. Also for forestry, for determining tree heights and for road engineering, and electric utility for determining conductor clearances and vegetation management. So here I'll do an overview of the structure of the instrument using my prop. On the side with the logo on it, you will see a serial port, which is used for uploading any data and measurements that you record. You can also use the Bluetooth function. On the side, you'll also see navigation buttons. These are used to navigate with the in-scope display through the adjustable eyepiece you'll be looking through and using it to navigate. On the front is where the lenses are for the lasers that come out. And on the top is the fire and the power button. So you'll hold it like so, adjusting the eyepiece to your eye, looking at the in-scope display, navigating with the buttons, and using the top button to fire. The instrument is also 10 ounces, and it can go for about eight hours continuous use off of one battery charge. The rangefinder only is true to a certain level of accuracy, which is still pretty good. The accuracy of the distance to a typical target is plus or minus 0.2 meters. That distance accuracy to a weak target, which is variable on the different atmospheric conditions, is plus or minus one meter. The accuracy level for inclination is plus or minus 0.25 degrees. And then when shooting for distance, the max range to a reflective target is 2,000 meters, but the max range to a non-reflective or too weak of a target is 1,000 meters. So how the rangefinder works is it'll take different measurements and then calculate the missing ones. There are a variety of different measurement solutions that the rangefinder can complete, such as distance, height, 3D missing lines, and 2D slope grades. I will now show you how to use the rangefinder for determining height on a tree, as an example. So in the in-scope display, you'll be using the navigation buttons to find the mode for the 3D height mode. And then, then it'll start to flash different measurements that it wishes you to take. So the first measurement that it'll flash at you will be HD, which means horizontal distance. So this is where you'll aim straight ahead, maintaining parallel to the ground, and towards the object, which is the tree, so at the tree trunk, and then you'll press the fire. So I will go like this, press fire, because I'm straight ahead at the tree. The next option it'll flash at you will be inclination. So it'll say INC, which means that we will then incline the rangefinder to the base of the tree and press fire. It'll then flash inclination one more time, which means you'll then rotate up to the top of the tree and press fire. At this point, it'll take those measurements, it'll do internal calculations, and it'll let you know the height of the tree in, the, in display. It'll also record it so then you can use the port to download that later. Following very similar steps to that that I had put in that example for determining height, you can also determine other measurements. You just select the mode using the navigation buttons in the in-scope display, and then you do what it has prompted you on the display to take measurements of. This will um, help to determine anything else that you would like to use. Also, the True Pulse 200 does come with a field guide that you can use for further explanation on the other measurement solutions. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped.